are especially a lot of stereotypes about girls in STEM, right, totally. which definitely don't really help girls because they're not confident enough. So do you guys have any opinions on that? Yeah, I mean, there's a stereotype that women are supposed to be good at English or they're supposed to be good at history, and then men are the ones that are good at math and science. And there's also this, um, there was a study that was done that it was like what you associate men with, you associate them with science. You don't really associate a girl with science. You associate them with, you know, English and history. And um, even even in the workforce, I've noticed that most of my teachers, my, my science teachers are all um, men. There's only one woman science teacher. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is really upsetting. And it's because I think of these stereotypes that women aren't good at science. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely think that STEM has like, gotten a potential for being, you know, like way more quantitative, and it definitely is, um, and way more hands-on, and that for some reason, you know, we've developed that stereotype that women are the gentler race yeah. of human almost, and yeah. it's completely astonishing yeah. that because of that stereotype, we're completely, um, you know, kind of separated or disassociated from the STEM thing, which is completely ridiculous. It it's is. like we completely have the same qualifications and skills and ability. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually, I also heard about a study that said that girls often react much better when they're doing a project that requires them to work hard, but actually guys do better when they have a project that requires them to be smart, because guys naturally think of themselves as smart, girls think of themselves as hardworking. And I think often STEM fields require a lot of intelligence, and that's why girls tend to shy away from it, which I think is really awful. And in addition, something else I heard about is girls are always taught to be perfect growing up, and so that makes it really difficult for them because sometimes in STEM, you know, there's a lot of trial and error when you're discovering new things mm -hmm. and girls are just not up for it because mm -hmm. they think it's extremely difficult and they don't want to get it wrong and be embarrassed. Do you think you guys have experienced any of that? Yeah, I mean, definitely there are moments and times where I feel like I can't take the risk, which is a huge part of what STEM is, you know, taking risks, ex experimenting, making mistakes, which is, yeah. as you were saying, mm -hmm. something that is sort of has become something we're not allowed to do as women. You yeah, know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like naturally as men, there there's has been studies done studies done where they feel like the, it's like men are more competitive and they're just more, you know, they're more confident than women. And it makes sense. Like if you see if women we see as women, if we see a room filled with men, we're not going to want to um, keep speaking or keep keep doing the same work as them. So it's it's important to. It's important to me because sometimes I feel like when I'm working in a group with a bunch of men, like I feel like I should, we should, what we should be doing is we should be speaking up for yeah. ourselves, and we should mm -hmm. be more confident when we're working with them, and we should make sure that like, you know they hear what we're saying and that we're just as smart as them. Mm -hmm.